This is notable. This is notable because this is really the first time in a long time, I mean years, 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 that I have attempted an omelet. Um, I got really obsessed with scrambled eggs for a while and I wanted to try and like perfect them and I got them to the point where I feel like I do a good job with scrambled eggs. But omelets are hard. There's a lot more going on with an omelet. And uh, I made omelets or attempt or whatever, you know, they, they qualified as omelets, but you know, I wasn't trying to perfect anything, but I made omelets when I was younger. But now that I'm older, I'm like, no, I want to, I want to learn how to do this right. And my goal is to make it where it's, you know, soft inside and hard on the outside. And I didn't do bad, but I definitely undercooked the inside. I can tell. Yeah. Well, it's still good. And it's pretty good for my first one. But I need to cook the inside more. Mushrooms hold a lot of moisture, especially canned. Yeah, and I, I actually cooked the mushrooms first mm. before I put ever, ever put any eggs in a bowl. Cooked the mushrooms to get some of the water out. Then I put the eggs in. Scoop God. Uh, then I, you know, left, uh, mixed it all up and then I let it sit. And, you know, I got the outside texture really good, but I needed to cook the inside longer. So, again, for, for my first try... Not bad. Not bad. I can't have eggs every day, so I'll be working on this probably maybe like once a week. We'll see. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Saturday. Catching up on the latest sumo stuff right now because tonight is the end of the tournament. And it's kind of been a wild tournament. There are currently two fighters who are undefeated. They have not had... That's that's right. Like Both both Akko and Ternafuji have not had a single loss. Mm-hmm. So that's interesting. Um, we don't normally stay up to watch the, 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 the tourney all the way through to the end, but like, but it's going to be so good. It's going to be so good. You've got two guys that literally haven't had a loss the, the whole tournament and you want to see it. You want to see what happens because they're going to fight each other. So like, might have to stay up and watch this one. This one seems important. Other thing happening today is that the replacement raid is here, and that's good. Um, the problem is I don't actually know if my plan is going to work. My plan, because the old chassis is dead, is to take those drives out of the old one and put it into the new chassis. It's the exact same model, mostly. There was a revision in the model oh, was there? since I bought it. It's the exact same model number, except this one is now the same model number, dash one. I presume that it'll work. I don't know that. So best case scenario, I take the old drives out of the, the old chassis, put them into the new chassis. It just boots up. Everything's good. That's best case scenario. Worst case scenario, that doesn't work. I sigh loudly. And then I just boot up this one. Uh, as a completely new raid, and I move the stuff over from Time Machine. Yeah, that's not how I want to do it. But, we'll see what happens. So, good news. I put the old drives in the new chassis, and it booted up just fine. Everything's good. All my stuff's here. I suspected that the drives were okay, and this kind of solidifies that, that the drives are fine, it's just the chassis that experienced a problem. So now, what I have to do is um, I need to send in this chassis to, uh, to Western Digital and get them to fix it. And then, when they do, I'll take the, the drives, the, the, the new drives that were in the new chassis, which I have laying over there on the on the table, I'll take those and put them in the old chassis, and then we'll have another 12 terabyte RAID. Is that more than we needed? Yes. But Mal's RAID is old, and she's been having problems with it disconnecting. 
So, it kind of seems almost inevitable that she's going to have a failure at some point. So maybe having a new one around is not a bad idea. And hers is... I think hers is out of warranty. She's had hers for quite a few years, so I don't think hers is under warranty anymore. Um, so yeah, but the drives are replaceable in hers too. And again, it's probably not her chassis, it's probably her drives. Maybe, maybe it is her chassis. I don't friggin' know. It's also a different company, so. I'm just glad that I have this hooked back up and everything seems to be fine. That being said, a little weird thing I noticed about Time Machine. A time machine is useful. It's built into the OS and it works and it works extremely well. And for most users, it's you know almost a godsend that you can just click on a folder and go back in time and, oh my God, there's my stuff. And if you don't use a ton of space, then you don't really run into problems with time machine because how time machine works is it constantly creates backups of where things were in a point in time. Um, you can even do it hourly. And that's really, really useful. The problem is when you start working with huge files, because we are constantly working with multiple terabytes of video, the backups fill up. So the backups fill up and then it starts overwriting old backups. So Time Machine is useful, but it's not like holding stuff from like, oh, I gotta go back three months and find out what this, no, it doesn't do that. We don't have enough space for that. We'd have to have, we'd have to have things that were like hundreds of terabytes. We'd have to have like huge, um, servers full of stuff for it to actually function like that. But it is a backup that is happening hourly, even if it's not something we can go way back in time to, to get. That being said, um, I noticed whenever the drive died, my first thought was, oh crap, all my data exists in one place, time machine. I stopped time machine backup so it wouldn't overwrite anything. And then I immediately took the backup of the RAID and I moved it across the network to an internal in the PC. When I was moving it though, I was looking through all the folders and it seemed like everything was there except, strangely, all of the footage that we shot. Um, we shoot footage with the Elgato and we use the Elgato software so it goes into a special Game Capture HD folder um, on the RAID. And that folder was empty and I knew that that folder wasn't empty. Everything else seemed to be there, but Time Machine didn't back up that one folder and I have no idea why. And it wasn't a big, it wouldn't have been a big deal even if we lost stuff because when we shoot it, we immediately give it to Dan. So Dan has it too. It exists in another place. And ultimately it was okay here because I knew the drives were fine. We loaded it up and it's, it, all the footage is still here, but it's still alarming. I don't know if that's an Elgato issue or a time machine issue. And maybe I just got really unfortunate where it was in the process of doing like, deleting an old backup or something and it it didn't make room for that specific folder because like I looked through the raid and it seems like literally everything else is there except the footage that we were shooting so I don't know just a weird anomaly and again it would have been fine because as we shoot stuff we give it to Dan so it's okay but it's a little scary you know if there was something in there that we would have needed and Time Machine for whatever reason didn't back up that one folder whether that's a time machine issue or an Elgato issue, we would have been uh, SOL. So I'm glad that the I'm glad that everything's working. Um, I'm gonna just even though I shouldn't need any of this footage, I'm gonna back it up anyway because I've already made space for it on the drive in the PC, and uh, I'm gonna start the arduous RMA process to send the chassis back into Western Digital, so I can get a new chassis. Um, and it's, it's, it's real crappy, man. It really is. Like, these things are expensive. Getting a RAID is expensive. And I had this thing for 11 months. It has a five-year warranty, and, like, that's good. They're going to replace it, but, like, Jesus. 11 months and a failure? I don't know about that. So I looked into the issue with the Elgato folder, and um, it could be one of two things. It could be Time Machine just going, I don't know. But it also could be something with the Elgato because sometimes on an application specific level, it'll just not flag something correctly to be picked up by Time Machine. I don't know, it's super weird. The thing that's particularly weird and makes me think that it's an Elgato issue and not a Time Machine problem is that there's actually two game capture folders um, on the computer and uh, they're in different spots and like, 
neither of them were ever backed up. So I, I don't know. I decided that I would make it a lot easier on myself by reinstalling Carbon Copy Cloner, which is a application I bought a long time ago and I used to use for certain things and I haven't used in a long time. And I can use that as a time machine alternative and it'll do basically the same thing, but it'll probably do a better job. Maybe. Maybe. It doesn't do exactly the same thing, but it's, it'll back up the stuff, which is what I want. Anyway, we'll fast forward a little bit to dinner. Um, so Mal got that Dutch oven, which uh, is actually just going to be a uh, early anniversary gift because um, our anniversary is coming up, and she's really excited about the I've Dutch oven. I've wanted one for a long time. Mal's wanted one for a long time, and she wanted to make some stuff with it, so she looked up some recipes. I don't know what the heck's even going on. There's a bunch of chicken. This is a uh, chicken paprikash, which is um, I found it from Food Wishes. Okay. And it's like a Hungarian paprika chicken dish. Sounds good. I was helping Mal do some prep down here. I got all of her stuff together and um, I've opened up some cans, took care of a few other little things. So how long is this going to take? A while. Really? Yeah. That's fine. Once I get it all together, it has to simmer for like 45 minutes to an hour. Okay. But that leaves me time to make the side dish, so. What side dish? Uh, it's traditionally served with, um, I don't know the Hungarian word for it, but it's spätzle in German. Spätzle. What, what? They're noodles. Okay, that noodles would, that's probably more helpful. Well, I'm excited about eating whatever this is. I like trying new things and um, we certainly don't eat a lot of Hungarian meals, but I'm always down to try new stuff. So I haven't been filming this dish, but holy crap, um, it's been complicated. Um, I've actually been in the kitchen helping Mal because it really required two hands to, to, to work on. Um, and there's so many parts to it, it's, it's pretty involved, but it looks really good. Yeah. And that's, um, what is all of the things that were, there's In like, this, there's tomato paste, there's uh, a lot of paprika, that's kind of the main thing. Um, onions, garlic. Yeah, near the end there was uh, cream and uh, sour cream. And sour cream. And then Mal was making the uh, whatever you call it over here. I don't know what. What was the name? You don't know the name of these. Something Fechula. hard to something hard to say. So that's that. I don't they know. They turned out real good. It looks good. It looks like I'm, risotto. I'm actually honestly impressed that I that they look so good. Yeah, it <laughs> looks. I've never done that. I don't know exactly how that's going to taste, but I'm excited. This, I mean, this all looks good. All the stuff that went in here is really exciting. You know, I've just, I never had anything. This is probably it. Anything like this before, so I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited about the smells that are emanating from the kitchen right now. It's as pretty as a picture. It's a very, uh, very good looking dish. How is it? I only ate the noodles so far. Oh, okay. Well, I tried the noodles without sauce and they're delicious. The sauce, I tried that too with the noodles and it was also delicious. So I assume the chicken's going to be delicious. Okay. Yeah. Let me, let me get a little bite in. Um, I got some of the sauce on this noodles, which I figure is fine. And yes, we might need a knife for the chicken. Hmm. Those noodles are really good. You've never done this before. The noodles did come out really good. Again, can't remember the name of these. Spatula. Spatula? S P E A T L E? S P H L A. That's really good. That's really good. It's, uh,. Obviously, because it, you know, there was tomato paste in it. There's a hint of that, but a lot of it is the cream and stuff that was added at the end. And the paprika. And the paprika. Um, there's two different types of paprika in here. There's smoked paprika, and then also a special paprika that Mal had to order. Oh, well, I like, didn't have any. Well, yeah. Well, no one would. It was like special. It's sweet Hungarian. Yeah, it was paprika. Hung Hungarian paprika. But is it good? I mean, yeah, this it's is really good. good. It's, it's good and it's, it's very hearty and warm. 
Yeah. And this is something that I'm assuming would be very difficult to do without the... Um, the Dutch oven? The Dutch oven. Well, you could do it with a stock pot. Well, just giving you credence to one of the meals that you can do with it. This is good. This is really good. Okay. Our day's not over. There's more to do. Oh, my God. I did the best I could. I tried to stay awake. But I can't do it. I am just falling asleep. I really wanted to stay up and watch the the final bout for Sumo. But, oh, my God, I'm falling asleep. There's still quite a few people up that are there to watch and mouse still up but I, I can't stay awake and it's not a big deal i can watch it tomorrow but like i'll have to watch it tomorrow because it's it's still like two hours away probably two and a half hours away and i'm like oh i'm not gonna make it i'm falling asleep so i'm gonna go to bed so i'll, I'll catch the the finale tomorrow. I already know I'm not going to win. I'm definitely not going to win. Right now, I think the only people that can possibly win are Thomas, Paul, and Mal. Um, so one of them is going to win. I will not win. And that's okay. The only thing I'm going to win right now is a free trip to Dreamland. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Let's meet back tomorrow, shall we?